Registered Phenomena Code 010 Object Class Beta Orange Hazard Types Sapient Hazard Grouped Hazard Regenerative Hazard Aggression Hazard Containment Protocols OL Containment Site 045 has been constructed around RPC-010-1 with the facade of a construction and engineering firm. OL Containment Site-045 must maintain a standard security outfit at all times, and non-authorized personnel are to be turned away at the front desk or, if need be, detained. Cameras equipped with microphones must be placed within the vent leading into RPC-010-1 and outside its doorway pointed towards the door window. RPC-010-1 is a large elementary school classroom measuring approximately 30 square meters. The room is furnished with 30 student desks, one teacher's desk, a bookshelf, various motivational posters, and a chalkboard. RPC-010-1 is only accessible through a singular doorway and only by children under the age of 13. All attempts to enter the room by teenagers and adults have resulted in failure. See Research Log 010-2. RPC-010-1 was formerly a part of Elementary, located in Massachusetts. RPC-010-2 is a Caucasian woman in her mid-forties and wears a red dress with black lace tied around her waist. Additionally, RPC-010-2 wears thick reading glasses and has her hair in a bun. RPC-010-2 is known as Miss Jackson within her classroom. RPC-010-2 has exhibited no need or desire to eat, drink, or sleep, and is constantly monitoring the happenings of her classroom. RPC-010-3 are the children within RPC-010-2's class. These students, seemingly students of RPC-010-2, exhibit no properties of aging despite some individuals residing within RPC-010-1 for years. RPC-010-3 instances have expressed a desire for food or water, yet never appeared to require sustenance to function. The students within the classroom are always aware that they are trapped within RPC-010-1, but so far there have been zero recorded escape attempts. Complaining to RPC-010-2 often results in severe punishment. See Observation Log 010-4. To date, there are 31 students within RPC-010-1. A typical school day within RPC-010-1 will start at 6 a.m. and end at midnight. Throughout the day, RPC-010-2 will assign various activities typical of a third-grade curriculum, including writing exercises, arithmetic problems, and basic science problems. Occasionally, RPC-010-2 will host a reading time in which he reads a story aloud to the class. The content of these stories are disturbing in nature, and usually involve themes of rape, murder, and treachery. Students who fail to participate in these activities or fail their assignments are harshly punished by RPC-010-2. RPC-010-2 treatment of RPC-010-3 ranges from indifferent to extremely violent when interacting with instances of RPC-010-3. RPC-010-2 will commonly express a desire to correct her students, and will frequently beat, torture, and kill students who fail to meet her expectations. When a student is terminated, the other students will pick up the remains and place them into a container named the Happy Box. Exactly one hour later, an identical copy of the terminated RPC-010-3 instance will emerge from the box and resume his or her duties. It is not yet known if this is a result of a healing factor within the box or if it simply creates new copies from the students. Additionally, remains placed within the Happy Box are absent when a student emerges. Approximately 30% of all punishment by RPC-010-2 results in a fatality. When class is out, 
RPC-010-2 begins quiet hours, and students are allowed to sleep, but RPC-010-2 remains alert at their desk. Children under the age of 13 are able to open the door to RPC-010-1. Once a child has stepped completely into the room, the door will slam shut behind them, and he, she, is to be considered an instance of RPC-010-3. RPC-010 was discovered after police recalled a local elementary school teacher Miss Jackson's classroom and failed to open the door. Authority agents monitoring police channels investigated and quarantined the site. Following heavy usage of Class A amnestics among the local populace, the school was shut down and procured by the Authority. Research Log Research Log 010-1 June 12th CSD was instructed to pull and push on the door leading to RPC-010-1. The door did not open. CSD was then instructed to ram the door leading to RPC-010-1, with the same result. Research Log 010-2 May 15 Child instructed to open the door. Door opened without incident. Class continued normally and RPC-010-2 did not appear to notice the child. Child was recalled. Research Log 010-3 May 15 Child instructed to hold the door open for a CSD. Before CSD could enter the classroom, door slammed inwards at an extreme velocity, bisecting the CSD between the door and the doorway. The lower half of the CSD fell into the classroom and was ignored by RPC-010-2. Instances of RPC-010-3 reacted with terror before being scolded by RPC-010-2. Child administered Class A amnestics. Researchers note, it is unclear if RPC-010-1 possessed sentience, or if RPC-010-2 is controlling the room somehow. Research Log 010-4 June 16 Child instructed to enter the classroom. As soon as the door is shut behind him, RPC-010-2 immediately forced the child to introduce himself and ordered him to take a seat on the floor. Child's designation is now RPC-010-3-31. Testing involving children halted by the site director. Research Log 010-5 June 27 a small drone was driven through the top vent of RPC-010-1 and landed on the classroom floor. RPC-010-2 immediately picked up the drone and proceeded to beat the nearest student with it until… Incident did not result in a fatality. Observation Log Observation Log 010-1 July 4 RPC-010-3-23 failed her math quiz. Student was made to disrobe and suffered 30 lashes with a meter stick by RPC-010-2. Observation Log 010-2 August 21 RPC-010-3-04 began to sleepwalk during quiet hours. RPC-010-2 proceeded to rush over to RPC-010-3-04 and strangle him to death. Students were awoken by the commotion and placed 04 in the happy box, where he emerged an hour later and immediately laid down until class began. Observation Log 010-3 September 1st RPC-010-3-31 expressed a desire to RPC-010-2 to go home. RPC-010-2 proceeded to and personally placed RPC-010-3-31 into the happy box. RPC-010-3-31 emerged an hour later. Note, Researcher Fredrickson requested immediate transfer to another site after this incident. Request was approved by the site director. <laughs>